In the realm of artificial intelligence, there's a name that has been making waves in recent years. ChatGPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a technology that has been advancing in leaps and bounds, capable of understanding and generating human-like text, driving the forefront of AI communications. But what exactly is GPT, and how does it truly work? In this video, we will break down its inner workings and discuss everything you need to know about the technology behind ChatGPT. Don't worry, we will try our best to simplify and explain the concepts in a way that everyone can understand. Let's dive in. What is GPT, and what does it even mean? You might wonder, why such a convoluted name? Well, each letter of the acronym GPT stands for something. The G stands for generative, which means that the technology is capable of creating new original content. The P stands for pre-trained, meaning that ChatGPT has been trained on a large corpus of text and language data to understand how humans communicate. Finally, the T stands for transformer, a type of neural network architecture that can process and generate text. In simple terms, the generative pre-trained transformers or GPT are a family of neural network models that uses the transformer architecture and are trained on a large corpus of text for language tasks, making them a powerful tool to generate natural language text. The concept of large language models in AI. At the heart of GPT lies the concept of large language models. It's like the DNA of GPT, shaping its characteristics and abilities. Imagine being dropped in the middle of a foreign country where you don't speak the language. You'd need to quickly pick up on patterns, like common phrases, greetings, or gestures, to navigate your way around. Large language models in AI undergo a similar journey. They learn the patterns and rules of a language just from the text they are trained on. Think of the internet as a vast, bustling metropolis filled with neighborhoods of different languages, dialects, and slangs. Large language models like GPT are like explorers, charting this diverse linguistic landscape, learning the local customs, syntax, cultural nuances, semantics, and even dialects, contextual language. As a result, GPT doesn't just understand and generate text. It paints a linguistic picture that's as vibrant and complex as the language itself. The Basic Building Blocks of ChatGPT and Its Architecture Peering inside GPT's architecture is like exploring the inner workings of a grand, intricate clock. At the heart of this clock are the transformer blocks, the gears that keep the hands moving. Each transformer block is like a tiny knowledge processing unit. Imagine a bustling city office where each department has a different function, public relations, accounting, human resources. Similarly, each transformer block performs a specific function in the model, understanding and processing parts of the language in different ways. When you input a sentence to chat GPT, it's like handing a package to a runner in a relay race. This runner, the first transformer block, unpacks the meaning of the sentence, repacks it with additional context, and hands it to the next runner. The package gets richer with each pass, and by the time it reaches the last transformer block, the anchor of the relay team, it's filled with nuanced contextual understanding. These blocks, working together, form the bedrock of GPT's ability to comprehend and generate text. They are the hidden conductors, orchestrating an AI symphony of language understanding. The Training Process of ChatGPT To understand the training of ChatGPT, let's take an imaginary journey. Picture a young child, curious and eager to learn, the child listens to conversations, reads books, asks questions, and slowly but surely begins to understand language. Just like this child, GPT starts its journey knowing nothing about language. GPT's books are a wide array of internet text. The AI is exposed to this data, not to memorize it, but to learn the rules, patterns, and structures of language. It's as if the AI is playing detective, observing clues and connections, and forming an understanding of how language works. However, unlike the child who learns in real time, GPT's learning process is frozen after its training period. It's like the photograph of a moment, capturing the world of language as it existed during training, and unable to learn or adapt further without additional training. How does ChatGPT understand the context of your questions? 
Understanding the context of a conversation is central to ChatGPT's operation, and it's quite an interesting process. Imagine a conversation as a string of beads, where each bead represents a statement, question, or response. Now, when you add a new bead, a new statement or question to the string, it doesn't exist in isolation. It's connected to all the beads that came before it, carrying the history of the conversation. ChatGPT operates in a similar manner. When you input a new statement or question, it doesn't just look at that standalone input. Instead, it considers the entire conversation history that led to this point, all the previous inputs and outputs. This is akin to viewing the whole string of beads rather than just the one you added. Each input is processed as a continuation of the conversation, influencing the way the model responds. For instance, if you were discussing climate change and suddenly asked, what's the major cause? ChatGPT would use the context of the conversation on climate change to infer that you're likely asking about the major cause of climate change. This ability to track and understand the context comes from GPT's underlying transformer architecture. Transformers can handle long-range dependencies in text, meaning they can link related concepts or ideas even if several other sentences come in between them. This is why ChatGPT can maintain context over a conversation and generate coherent, relevant responses. How does it generate the exact responses? Creating responses with ChatGPT is like an elaborate game of predicting the future. When given a series of words or phrases, it tries to predict what comes next, and it does this using patterns it has learned during its training period. Let's imagine ChatGPT as a world-class chess player. Just as the chess player anticipates their opponent's moves based on past games, ChatGPT predicts the next word or phrase based on countless examples of text it has studied. This prediction process is a product of a machine learning method called transformer architecture. Now, when you type in a phrase or a question, it goes through a process that's a bit like rolling a very, very complicated set of dice. The AI considers the possible words that can logically follow the given input based on its training. Each potential word is assigned a probability, a score that represents how likely it is to be the next word. For instance, if you typed, the cat chased its, the model would assign high probabilities to words like tail or prey, and low probabilities to unrelated words like spaceship or breakfast. This is because in its training data, it likely encountered sentences where cats chased their tails or prey far more often than they chased their spaceships or breakfasts. But instead of choosing the most probable word every time, which could lead to repetitive and bland responses, GPT introduces an element of randomness. This means it occasionally selects less probable but still plausible words, making the conversation more dynamic and human-like. The Significance of Probability in Language Prediction As we discussed in the previous point, probability plays an integral role in the predictions made by ChatGPT. In essence, it acts as a data-driven filter that allows GPT to select the most likely response based on its training. Without probability, this process would be inefficient and inaccurate, especially when dealing with more complex tasks like conversational AI. By taking into account the probability of each response, ChatGPT can quickly determine the most likely outcome without wasting time and energy on improbable responses. This is how it can generate answers in real time, allowing for natural conversations that feel more human-like. In short, Probability is essential to making accurate predictions with language modeling technology. For example, if you ask GPT, what is the capital of, there's a high probability that the next word will be the name of a country. GPT calculates the likelihood of different words following your question based on its training. So if France is the word you type after, GPT knows with a high probability that Paris should come next. GPT's adept handling of probability is what makes it so incredibly good at generating coherent, contextually appropriate responses. The role of tokens in ChatGPT's operations. When we humans read a sentence, we naturally break it down into understandable units, typically words and punctuation. In English, for example, we might read the sentence, the cat sat on the mat, as six separate words. However, for ChatGPT, these understandable units are tokens, 
and they might not always align neatly with our human division of words and punctuation. So what is a token exactly? Depending on the language, a token can be as short as one character or as long as one word. For instance, in English, a word like a or i can be a single token, but so can a longer word like apple or orange. In some cases, a long word may be split into multiple tokens. The specifics of what makes a token can get quite technical, but the key idea is that tokens are the pieces that ChatGPT uses to read, understand, and generate text. Here's how it works in practice. Let's say you ask ChatGPT a question. First, the model breaks down your question into these tokens. It then processes these tokens one by one, passing them through its neural network to understand their meaning in the context of the tokens it has seen so far. Once it's processed all the tokens in your question, it starts predicting what the next token should be, effectively starting to draft a response. It continues predicting the next token until it generates a complete answer. ChatGPT has a token limit, which is the maximum number of tokens it can process at once. This limit ensures that ChatGPT will not go on an endless loop generating more and more tokens. The token limit also helps ChatGPT generate timely, coherent responses that remain relevant to the conversation. As you can see, explaining a complex system like ChatGPT is no simple task. But we did our best to explain how it works in a way that's easy for everyone to understand. Of course, if you want to deep dive into the details, there are plenty of resources available to help you understand every intricate detail. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.